I'm Mark Oxlade. Welcome to Las Vegas and Fabtech 2012. But the cutting equipment today now is much more integrated to the robot. You have the ability for the control softwares, angles and approaches so you get a much better quality cut. The, the welding then process after that is made much easier so good parts in, good parts out. It's all important to get that cut quality. And here you're looking at some fine examples of the type of uh, results you get on this and the process speed is extremely fast. So do the work with offline programming, send the data down to the robots, create the robot cycles and execute and build and cut uh, very precise precision components. Where we've seen a lot of this work uh, take place with the plasma cutting equipment is um, construction industries, building of beams and complex shapes. These complex shapes are held in the geometry in the 3D world and then it's very easy to transpose that down to the robot world and then you can cut a one-piece beam Beams are never the same, they're very similar, but we can tactile sense, we can find, we can search, and then we know the exact specific cut requirements for that geometry, for that beam. And then again, the net result is the quality and the throughput. Victor Thermal Dynamics offer a range of products, so comprehensive, easy to integrate to, uh, tried and tested components. It does exactly what it does, says it does on the tin. So that's a great deal of comfort to an uh, uh, integrator or a builder or a potential customer. You can start with lightweight power uh, cutting devices through to the very heavy cutting film requirements. So you, you, the cover of the range is very good. Well, what behind is behind me is the IRB 800 robot. It's basically two robots in one. And what it gives you is a phenomenal work envelope. Now today it's dressed out in twin wire welding. However, you put a plasma torch on that and you can have an enormous cutting angle. So large tanks, large beams, um, many, many feet of area can be very well covered to cut. The, the work envelope of this robot is phenomenal. So if you put large tanks in it, it can cut all the peripheries, round the ends, and we can, once we've cut something, we know where we've been with the robot, and that data is known, and then we can carry that through to the welding. Longevity of life of consumables, this is all important, and obviously they've done their homework. In here, it goes into a really tough environment, it has to survive, and you want to keep the robot working. It's not cutting, if it's not cutting something, it's not doing its job, it's not making the money that it's supposed to do for it. You invested in a lot of equipment, in your capital equipment, so the Achilles heel to any robotic cell is the process. So you want high uptime, reliability, and that's what you would look for, uh, Victor Thermal Dynamics product.